Rights groups decry shaming of transgender people in Indonesia's Asa province. Rights groups on Tuesday condemned the actions of religious police in Indonesia's ultra-conservative province of Asa, where a dozen transgender people were detained as hair salons at the weekend and publicly shamed. Indonesia has the world's largest Muslim population but the say, on the northern tip of Sumatra, is the only province that enforces Islamic law and outlaws homosexuality. Religious police and vigilantes in a south often raid homes and places of work and detain people on suspicion of engaging in homosexual activity. Police in North Asa District confirmed the raids and detentions of 12 transgender people after residents complained their children were being harassed, the National Daily Compass said. There were mothers who came crying to me, worried about their children, said District Police Chief Ahmad Antung. This is not right, and we hope the social disease can be resolved, he told the paper. The suspects were forced to cut their hair to look more masculine and were later released without charge, media said. Rights group Amnesty International said the raid showed Asa had become an increasingly hostile place for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, LGBT, community. The latest raids on beauty salons are just the latest example of the authorities arbitrarily targeting transgender people simply for who they are, Usman Hamid of Amnesty International Indonesia said in a statement. Cutting the hair of those arrested to make them masculine and forcing them to dress like men are forms of public shaming and amount to cruel, inhuman and degrading treatment in contravention of Indonesia's international obligations. Last year, the provincial and central governments drew international condemnation after authorities in a tried two young men on charges of engaging in gay sex and then publicly caned them, the first such case in the country. Indonesia's lesbian gay, bisexual and transgender community has drawn increasing hostility in recent years. Conservative groups and politicians have urged Parliament to revise the National Criminal Code to criminalize same-sex relations.